Hello. So 2023 was the first year where I attempted to make a video every week. And I did pretty well. I think I only missed three or four, maybe five weeks out of the entire year. And my videos typically have four or five synth jams in each video, so I did a lot of synth jams over the year. And I thought it would be a nice idea to make a video with some of my favourite jams of the year. And I'd also like to thank everyone who is watching my videos, everyone who leaves a like and a comment. It's always super positive and I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, the kind of nature of my videos, the way I structure them is I have prepared jams and I kind of know where I want to go with those jams. Um, but what happens in the middle is always largely improvised and so sometimes uh, some unexpected things can happen. And the first uh, clip that I'd like to look at is one of those examples where I was experimenting with modulating the pitch of beads for the, the first time and some really sort of epic unexpected results came from that, especially towards the end of the jam. Um, so yeah, let's get into the, the jams once I figure out how to break down this jam. So these kind of weird glitching sounds are being achieved by sending a quantized LFO from PAMS into the pitch control on beads. And that means that one note sent from Platts <laughs> is creating several notes from beads. can make nice little sounds like that. First algorithm in Platts, which I believe is called a pair of classic waveforms. A really great algorithm for the sheer amount of sounds you can get out of it. Um, but this patch idea does take a lot of tweaking and a lot of experimentation, changing the shape of the quantized LFO and the sort of width of the shape can have dramatic effects. It's 
Currently I'm using a sawtooth LFO. So you should hear the sounds <laughs> rolling down. But we can mix that up. Let's try. Whoa. <laughs> That's quite nice, actually. This shape here, you might not be able to see it on pans there. It's kind of like a square wave, but with sort of ramped sides. I guess a kind of mix of a triangle with a, a flat top. <laughs> that one might be nice with reverb. That was <laughs> more intense <laughs> than I expected. also be fun to hit freeze and see what beads has captured and is creating.
this is quite a funny little jam, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm in the the green mode on rings, but I'm using the FM thing. So if you hold the right button, it will start to flash green and it will enter an FM mode, which is very cool. And I'm using the Nautilus as a kind of looper by utilising the freeze button. I played in a few notes and hit freeze. I then started to play over the top and I'm using channel 1 in maths to modulate the brightness of rings to get this tremolo effect. <laughs> <laughs> Which I really like. A touch of reverb from the effects aid. Some stereo stuff from Data Bender. And some high pitched sparkly things from beads but what I particularly liked about beads in this patch is when I roll the filter all the way down which means that the super snappy filter envelope from maths can make these nice percussive sounds beads was really bringing jungle noises to the table The 808, the RD8 even, is acting like a bit of a bongo machine. <laughs> and another cool little thing that I was doing was when I'm playing these kind of bongo noises, that's a good time to unfreeze the Nautilus and see what is in the audio buffer because you can quite often get a totally different tribal groove happening. Yeah. 
So this patch is once again using the quantized LFO into the beads pitch. And this is a technique that I've never done before until making this video. And it's quickly becoming one of my favourite ways to use beads. It really opens it up in a totally different way. And it means you can take a single note, like this one from Platts, and create these huge textures. And as soon as I heard this, I just had in mind about the kind of sort of ambient, experimental, sort of psychedelic jazz music. It has that electric piano sound, but there's still something sort of very digital about it. Little weird noises and artifacts in there. And uh, I really like this. I found a bongo loop in Ableton. Got the drum brute on drums. But the other star of the show is coming from the OP1 here, which I'm using as a MIDI controller. And it is triggering the lab's um, sample library, which just sounds ridiculous. It's totally free and it sounds incredible. <laughs> I mean, how good is that? course I've got loads of reverb on as well. And I did for a while actually add some vinyl crackle from Databender. I don't know if it needs it. off for a minute. really mess about with this little configuration for ages. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's exploration of plats and beads. If you have, be sure to leave a like and a comment. I really enjoy getting comments and replying to folks. If you're interested in more content, I do have a Patreon where I upload videos and sample packs, etc. Um, so please do check that out. Or another way you can help support the channel is by using the affiliate links down below. If you're treating yourself to some lovely gear and you use one of those links, then I get a cut from the sale. And I will catch you all next time.